Today I am doing my in-depth night routine. If you can perfect your morning and night routine, you're gonna be a great bunny parent. Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny and welcome to part two of my like in-depth routine series. Last week I showed you my in-depth morning routine where I went through literally every single step I do with Cinnabon in the morning. So today I am doing my in-depth night routine. So if you haven't watched last week's video yet, go ahead and click up here to get caught up. But essentially what I'm doing is I am going through our routine and just breaking it down to the nitty gritty of why I'm doing things. So think less like artsy aesthetic routine video and more like very informational. I find that with pets, especially rabbits, they are so dependent on their routine. So if you can perfect your morning and night routine, you're gonna be a great bunny parent. So my night routine starts around five o'clock. Cinnabon finishes her nap around then and that's when we start doing stuff. So I actually already filmed the first part of my night routine. So let's jump into that now. Okay, so one of the very first things that I like to do at nighttime is groom Cinnabon. This is usually just when she's more chill, so it's easier to pick her up, and I just know that by the end of the day, she can be nice and clean. Now, I don't do this every single night, but right now, you can see from her butt, she's shedding a lot with spring, so I've definitely been grooming her a lot more. So, let's brush her. Of course, I'm using my handy-dandy fur buster comb. This is my holy grail brush, so while she's getting a little antsy, let's brush. Okay, so Cinnabon is done being groomed, and now this is my favorite part. It's very funny. Every single time I put Cinnabon down on the ground, I always give her a treat. So every time I put her on the ground after being brushed, she immediately stomps, but then climbs all over me, hops in my lap, and begs for a treat. It's very silly. Essentially, she's like, screw you, I hate you, but like, um, please give me my treat, I love you. I'll let you guys see for yourself. <laughs> right on schedule. Yes, you can tell she's very angry with me. Hi, I know, I know, I love you. One more. I'm also just giving her some pieces of dried pineapple. It's one of our favorite treats. Good girl, good girl, that's good bunny. That's good girl, that's good girl. So once Cinnabon is all brushed, she starts getting a little restless and ready for dinner, which means let's go over to the bunny cabinet and get her fed. Muffin, are you hungry? You hungry for dinner? Do you want your little bunny dinner? Yeah, let's get you dinner. Okay, let's get dinner time. So for dinner, all I feed Cinnabon are her pellets. This is a quarter cup and I fill it up about a quarter or a third of the way. I do this in the morning, but I also do it at night. So she is getting ready for dinner. Let's feed her. I feed Cinnabon on her snuffle mat because it's just a perfect way for her to engage with her food a little bit more. Instead of making it easy for her and just putting it on a plate, she can use her brain and look for her food and kind of act like she's foraging out in the wild. All right, so Cinnabon is currently finishing up her dinner. I just finished my dinner. So the next part of our night routine is honestly just hanging out. Cinnabon will usually take a nap around now, so I'll probably get a few shots of her napping and then we will cut to later when she gets a little bit more energy. So it is a little bit later and Cinnabon is waking up more and that means it's time for me to continue my night routine. Now something I do every single night is I check on Cinnabon's hay. I change Cinnabon's litter box every single morning. Y'all saw it in my morning routine. So I don't change it at night, but it is really important that your rabbit always has unlimited hay. So I check her hay, one, to make sure that she's eating it, and it's a good chance for me to check out her litter box, make sure her poop is fine. But two, if she's running out of hay, I can refill her hay bag and she'll have enough hay for the night. So let's check out her hay right now. Just as I suspected, basically empty. She has been like devouring her hay recently. So let's go to the shed and fill up some hay. Okay. 
so much better. All better. I told y'all that this is a very realistic, um, in-depth night routine. So this is actually what I look like at nighttime. <laughs> So my deepest apologies for my appearance for the remainder of this video. I wanted to be real here. I wanted to actually show you what I do at night. So this is very much my reality. Once Cinnabon has her dinner and like takes her nap, that's really when I have my time too. I really love my evenings to be nice and slow. I will pour a glass of wine. I will go and take a bath, which is what I did tonight. Just hang out. From here, our night routine can vary each night a little bit. Like sometimes if I'm feeling active, me and Bryant might go out, but most nights I am sitting on this sofa right here watching TV, reading a book. Cinnabon will join me either on the sofa or on her chair. So it kind of looks different each night, but it's really just spending time in the home, spending time with Cinnabon and just unwinding. All right, bun, so it is time for the very last step in our night routine, and that is the best part of the entire day, which is Cinnabon stick. Let me put you on the ground, hold on. So the very last thing I do every single night is I give Cinnabon half of a garden stick from Supreme Naturals. I have been doing this for a while, and if you guys follow our channel, you've definitely seen it before. This is like the last step of the day. I give her the stick and I say go to bed, and she tucks herself into the bunny room. She just stomped at me because I haven't given it to her yet. Oh my god, you're such a baby. You're being a baby. This is multi-purpose. Like I said, one, it's a good way for her to be excited to go into her room and go to bed at night. But for me, this is like one final treat test during the day where I can make sure that she's excited and feeling well. Because I know that if I ever bring out stick and she isn't acting the way she is right now, super excited and wanting it, then I know something's wrong. So it's a really good way for me to finally do one last check on her right before bed and go to bed knowing that she is healthy and doing well because she was excited about stick. So let's put Cinnabon out of her misery and give her her stick and put her to bed. So once someone grabs her stick, she always runs to that spot in the bunny room here. And that is when I say good night to her and I turn off the light. And that is the end of our night routine. I put Cinnabon in the bunny room here. I put Cinnabon in the bunny room here so that I know that when I go to bed, she is safe in a very bunny proofed area. She's still free roaming, but there's nothing she can get into in there. So it's like her happy, safe bunny space. So with that, that is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye buns.